with the oil pumps removed from my engine, it seemed like a good time to take them apart, check for any wear, and it just gives me a good opportunity to see how they work, what the operation of them is. So there are two different types of oil pump in the engine. This one here is the, the main pump, which sits inside the crankcase. And this one here is a scavenge pump, which sits on the end of each head. So there are two of these in the engine. So the main pump consists of three different stages. So we have one stage here, which is a scavenge stage, a second scavenge stage here, and then a pressure stage at the end. So the way that this pump works, so the gears fit inside there. There's one, this is the input shaft. So this shaft is driven from the intermediate shaft, which drives one of the gears. So these sit in here. If I just drop this in, I can demonstrate. So there are really two main types of oil pump. There's the gear one and the G rotor one. So this is a gear pump. So what happens as this shaft rotates, if it goes in that direction, oil and air will be sucked through here and then it passes around there and then pushed out the other side. So that's, that's how they operate. So we have one port on this side and another port on this side. So this being the pressure stage, I'm not, not quite sure which direction they rotate, but oil from the tank will go in one port and be forced under pressure out of the other port. So the important things to check on here are for any wear on the gears, because as the if you get any little particles or anything in there, then it's going to damage the edge of the, the teeth on the gears. So we have to check those. And also given that the, the gears are steel and the case is aluminium, then you have to check for any scoring or marks or wear inside the case. There's a couple of tiny little bits in there, but that looks generally good. So this is the pressure stage. The scavenge stage, you say there's two separate stages for this. This is the main feed, so it has a strainer on here. And then the oil in there is sucked up through there. And if you look in here, it goes into this side of the pump and it will exit the other side. Now, if you look in there, there's no actual port for it to exit through there. So it actually exits through this here. That then feeds into the second stage, which is this stage. So that lines up with this here. So that's basically the output there. So these two stages have a common output. They both feed out through there. And this one is basically sucking through this second strainer here and then pumping across those gears there. So here you can have a closer look at the gears. You see the some very slight bits of wear on there. So I'll be checking whether these are in, in spec or not. So with the drive shaft, we have one, one shaft that's driven, which is this one. So this has a couple of keys in it for driving the, you see there are the drive keys. So they're for driving the gears and the other shaft is just an idler. So that's the, the main oil pump. And then on the heads, there's one of these scavenge pumps on each head. So this is the outlet, which goes round to here and also to here and then these are the two inlets this one goes through to here and this one through to here so when the pump is driven it's driven through the center you see because obviously the gears are going round in opposite directions then it pumps opposite directions across the across the pump so this is going to scavenge from one end of the head and this from the other end of the head and then there is another pump just like that on the other end of the head. So we have two scavenge pumps for the head and two scavenge pumps for the crankcase. So a total of six scavenge stages on this engine and one pressure stage. The assembly of it, it all just slides together. Basically it has, uh, it has dowel pins for location. So it goes in, in in the order as shown there. And then it just has four nuts on the end of it to hold it together. So when I've finished checking this, I'll see if there's any measurements I need to take on it and then I shall be putting it back together. Okay. 
here you can see a close up of the gears so rotate it you can see there are grooves around the edge so you can see where they've been marked and it's taken the, the coating off the edge of the gears so this is the pressure stage so any wear on these gears is going to contribute to lower oil pressure in the car Here is the oil pump after I've finished screwing it all back together. So you can see the four nuts on the end of it. I've just got some tape on it because there's a, um, a circlip which goes on there on the input drive. I've just taped that to the body of the pump so that I don't lose it. After having checked over all the gears on it, I won't be using this pump. There's just too much wear, particularly on the pressure stage. Um, the last thing I want with this engine is issues with low oil pressure. Um, and anywhere around the tips will mean that the pump's not able to, to build the pressure because oil will just leak around the, the tips of the gears. So um, whilst it's all back together, it won't be seeing any further use in this engine.